it's Jackie and welcome to another vlog. It's currently almost 7 a.m. and I'm headed to Avon Mills which is like right over there. I'm in a hotel right now and I'm headed to be on live TV so I haven't really done that so I'm excited, a little bit nervous. Hopefully I don't like fumble on my words and it's Pink Shirt Day today. I don't know if I mentioned that yet but it's celebrating being kind and what's really cool about this is it actually started a couple years ago when two boys stuck up for um, another male student who was bullied for wearing pink and passed out a bunch of pink shirts. So it's become a movement now and I'm really excited to be taking part in a charity concert and speaking at the event. So yeah, I'm a little nervous, but let's go. And here's the pink shirt. Woo! All about promoting positivity. With you being online, you know, you're a YouTube star, Instagram star. Let's talk about your story. Have you ever endured uh, negativity online? So online has actually been quite a positive experience for me, which has been amazing because I did deal with some bullying, but back in high school. So I definitely learned how to cope with that. And now that I have those skills, it's great to be able to come to events like this and talk about that and how to stay positive. Perfect. And you will be on stage today also with the winners of CTV's The Launch. Let's show them here. We got a couple guys that we'll be interviewing a little bit later, like Elijah and Jamie and Logan. They'll be on the show. And Jackie, you'll be on the stage. What is your messaging today? So it's all about kindness. I just really want to talk about how you can choose to make a great impact on somebody's life. And really it's up to the bystanders a lot of the time. And in my personal experience, I found that people later in life have came to me and apologized for how they treated me. But it wasn't usually the perpetrators, it was the people who stood by who carried that guilt as well. So I think if you can step in and choose kindness, you really should, and you can make such an impact. And more of that today, starting at 6.30. Thank you so much, Jackie, your first time live. You were Perfect. Yeah. And it's love over bullying. Hashtag that. Come on out. Take a selfie. Buy a shirt. Hey guys, so we're back at the event and a crowd is formed. We've got the first speaker up, Taylor. She's so inspirational. I fell from the high bar, landed directly on my head, broke my neck, and severed my spinal cord. In that moment, I instantly became paralyzed from the neck down. No longer was I a physically gymnast traveling the world. When I first got back and people heard that I came back from quote unquote rehab, they automatically made assumptions that it was because I was, I was an athlete, so maybe I did, you know, enhancement drugs, and then I ended up in rehab. And this whole rumor went around the school that was so awful for so long. But Due to really great people sticking up for me and being naysayers and saying, no, you're wrong, she actually has been fighting for her life. So you guys just saw a clip of my friend Taylor and her incredible story. So she does have a channel here on YouTube and we did a podcast together. We met through this event and now are good friends. So you should definitely check it out and learn more about her. And here is my first time public speaking at the event. So I want to touch a little bit about my story and how kindness has uh, really impacted me. So my first high school experience wasn't a great one. There was quite a bit of bullying at my school towards me and as much as I tried to ignore the rumors that were being said, um, you know, I was quite belittled to a couple slurs and it really took a toll on my self-confidence. Um, I suffered in silence for a while and I didn't tell anybody and that's kind of the worst thing to do. When you are getting bullied, you need to tell somebody. So when I opened up to my parents, that's when things really started to change for me because they were the ones to help me navigate and I actually silently changed schools. This isn't always the best option, but for me getting out of a toxic environment was a, a great fresh start for me. And the kids at this new school were incredibly kind and they don't even know the impact that they made on my life by just being nice to me. And um, that changed my life because I wouldn't have had the confidence to start a YouTube channel, to have this career if it wasn't for some of those kids. Unfortunately, bullying leaves deep scars and it takes a long time to rebuild confidence. So even at this new school where people were lovely to me, Whenever anyone looked at me, I felt like they must be thinking something negative. And I put a lot of um, pressure on myself to look perfect all the time. I was struggling with acne and I had braces. And those things are completely normal and you know, not something to be ashamed of, but I thought that's why everyone was looking at me. 
And one day, one of my classmates looked at me and said, wow, you have really nice skin today. How do you get it like that? And I was kind of shocked because I assumed that if she looked at me, she thought something negative, and that kind of shifted my mind. And I thought, wow, that was really nice of her. And it was a simple compliment that I remember years later <laughs> and I'm talking about now. And funny enough, um, with my job, I get asked to promote a lot of products. And she has a business, and she came back to me very recently, like a couple weeks ago, and asked me to promote. And it wasn't a beauty product, but I really wanted to include her product into my video in any way I could, because she had made me feel so good, and I wanted to give that back to her. So I think, you know, any small amount of kindness, you get what you give. And you don't be kind to get something from people, but a lot of the time it works out that way, because kindness really is contagious. And as for some of the kids who maybe weren't so nice to me in high school, a lot of them have chose kindness now. And you know what, they've come back and apologized to me and said, look, how I treated you in high school, that wasn't cool and I'm sorry. And that takes a lot of guts too. It's never too late to apologize. But I, I just think, wow, if they've harbored that guilt that they were a bystander years later, they could have stepped in in that moment and made a huge difference in my life. And so if you have a chance, and to stand up for somebody and you feel like a situation isn't right, step in because you can make such an impact and you know it's always the best option to be kind. Why did people at your school, uh, your old school, bully you? That's a great question. For me, it came from a boy making a rumor about me that wasn't true. And then a lot of people, you know, decided to spread that and I felt really powerless about my reputation. And that was really hard for me and it took um, a lot of time to show people, no, this is who I am. What was your inspiration to start your channel? So my inspiration came from Bethany Moda. I don't know if any of you guys watch her, but I was a huge fan, I still am, and I loved how she used her platform and how she was so positive and I wanted to be more like her. You look nice. <laughs> Thank you so much, you look nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who inspired you to do makeup? So my first makeup artist that I was super inspired by was Michelle Vaughn, who I think is amazing and I had a chance to meet recently and she was super nice, super down to earth, so she's someone that I really look up to. What did you do to stop bullying? So for me, um, more of my experience in high school is I did tell my parents and that's when things started to get better because they could intervene and we actually did tell the school board but at the time, uh, the attitude was a little bit, boys will be boys, and that was really hard to take. But I think now we've moved in a direction where teachers are a bit more involved and they really listen to students. So I think we've kind of fostered a, a better environment for students now with, with events like this. Very much for your question. Amazing questions, everybody. Jackie, I want to finish with one last thing. To people in the audience who are maybe going through a difficult time right now, maybe they're feeling like they're not good enough, maybe they're being put down, what is a piece of advice that you give to them? I'd say, you know, put a Put trust in yourself, be the person you want to be, and if people are tearing you down, uh, you know, find good company, find people who make you feel good, and lift those people up as well. Big round of applause for Jackie Myers, everybody. on this day, I uh, had a blast, what's up? <laughs>
had so much fun today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a pink shirt day and hopefully I'll participate in some way next year. Thanks again for watching.